found out that this cross-country tour was coming through town as soon as I woke up so I jumped out of bed and I hauled butt out here and I found them yeah let's check out these vehicles All right, I'm here with Lieutenant Dan. Tell me about your guys' deal here. Well, we uh, are uh, following the Lincoln Highway from uh, York, Pennsylvania to San Francisco, California. Uh, we're doing it with, uh, we're running about 42 military vehicles on the road each day, and we're following the actual route that the Army did in 1919 really? when they made their very first transcontinental motor vehicle I did convoy. I know that kind of new to finding out about you guys, so it's kind of cool to learn a little bit more. You guys brought all these back here too? Yep. Uh, I haven't seen all those. I'm gonna have to go walk back there and check all those yep, out. Those are our quarter tons and our three quarter tons and five fourths tons. Out in front, we had all of our heavies. The, the big ones. Yeah. yeah, and then across the street, we have uh, all of our support vehicles. I didn't see those. I'm yeah, there are about seven out. support vehicles over there. Holy cow. Trailers and campers and stuff like that. That the This is a huge deal. Them. Yeah. Do you guys do this once a year? Or how often? No, we, we usually do a convoy every two years. Okay. Uh, we actually did this same convoy 10 years ago, 2009. Uh, this year it's the hundredth anniversary of the ah, of the army's cool. crossing of the United States. It took them uh, 63 days, 93 wow. vehicles, and we're doing it with 40 vehicles, and we're doing it in 37 days. Okay. What speed do you guys usually stay at as you go? 35 miles 35? an hour. 35. Wow. That's our maximum I'm say, speed. I'm supposed to stay at 55, and that feels slow to me. So I can't imagine you guys crawling through so. uh -huh. yeah well it's definitely the way to see the countryside definitely that's so cool well, i'm gonna go check out the vehicles thank All right. you for talking to me you bet Enjoy. guys when i jumped on the facebook this morning and saw the video you can't tell how many vehicles were in this group and then when i walked in the vfw and saw how many people there were i was kind of shocked for a minute i didn't realize there were this many more vehicles involved in this convoy this is insane I'm so glad I was able to get out here and show you guys this. Look at these vehicles, man. I dig these old vehicles. How rad are these? And if you notice a lot of these, they've got individual people on their, their little magnets here, which is really cool. Check this one out. You do not ever see these. Wow. These seats are in great shape.
feel a little bit iffy taking the Humvee farther than Salt Lake sometimes. Can't imagine trying to do the upkeep on these vehicles across the entire country, but I guess if you're gonna do it, these are the people to do it with. They can probably get you back on the road. They probably know the ins and outs of these vehicles. And yeah, if you're gonna cruise and break down, cruise with a hundred people that know old military vehicles. I need more friends like that. We're gonna go back inside the VFW and then I think we're gonna go check out the support vehicles across the street that I missed. Guys, this is so cool. I don't know how many of you guys are into military history like I am. I dig this stuff. All these World War II trucks, super cool. Sorry, the lighting is gonna be crappy. Okay, so they got their, their, all their, I don't know if you can see it over there, but their support vehicles, all their trailers and their big vans to haul people are over there across the street. Oddly enough, I haven't seen a single Humvee here. I mean, I get the Humvees aren't super old, but they're the same as this right here. I was hoping to see some more Humvees. <laughs> Maybe they broke down on the way and they gave up. Don't tell anybody I said that, but it's entirely possible. I don't know how well these old Jeeps, these Willys Jeeps hold up compared to a Humvee, but I would think that Humvees would keep right along with them. What do I know? They got their, their map in there of their route. Convoy recovery vehicle And they've got a trailer. I'm guessing so if one of these little Jeeps breaks down they can drive it right up on the trailer Because I'm pretty sure those will fit Humvees don't fit on any trailers. <laughs> you have to get a pretty big trailer to haul a Humvee But anyway Super glad I could get out here and show you guys this it was awesome to talk to some of these guys and I guess I got to go back home as much as I want to hang out with these guys. I got to get back to the kids but yeah, thanks for coming out with me, you guys. And I will catch you next time.